A man carrying a Palestinian flag was attacked and had the flag torn away from him during Israeli protests against legal reform plans. It's moments like this that Palestinians say exposes the lie of Israel's system. It's okay for Israelis to protest freely, but for Palestinians, it's a very different matter. They get military occupation, daily killings, and systematic forced displacement. Some Palestinians are worried that they are about to pay a price for Israel's crisis over legal reforms. In the past, Israel has been accused of using Palestinians as scapegoats to distract from its own internal problems, including by launching wars on the besieged Gaza Strip. Now, one of the top officials in Israel's far-right government, Itamar ben Gvir, says he has won agreement for the creation of a National Guard under his direct control. The plan has reportedly been in place since last year, but now ben Gvir has released a signed letter agreement with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu for the creation of such a force. ben Gvir is an illegal settler living in the occupied Palestinian West Bank who regularly incites violence against Palestinians and who has a criminal conviction for racist incitement. One Palestinian member of the Israeli Knesset likened the situation to giving a terrorist a private army. There's also concern that Israeli settlers will be emboldened by this extra power for Ben Fir. Attacks by settlers on Palestinians have been happening on a near daily basis and there were more on Monday night after Ben Gvir's latest announcement. And in addition to the government announcing plans for new illegal settlements, the Israeli army has carried out near daily deadly raids on Palestinians in the occupied West Bank. So while Israelis may be concerned about their so-called democratic system, the concern for millions of Palestinians living under military occupation is an increase in systematic Israeli violence against them.